Nate has always been a special, unique child. He's always been very caring about other people. What started as a typical day on the golf course last July ended as anything but typical for 12-year-old Nate Burke. Nate and his best friend Carson were out hitting balls on the driving range when Mother Nature took a turn for the worse. About five or ten minutes after we started hitting balls at the driving range, we saw a lightning bolt off in the distance. And then I remember them saying that there was lightning, so they blew the horn and everybody was starting to walk back in. And we were all walking in, we heard a loud bang. And I remember thinking to myself after hitting the ground was, wow, that lightning was very close. We heard thunder and we like looked at each other and laughed and then we like started going faster. We knew we wanted to get inside. It's Nathan's friend immediately started running to the clubhouse to get help and um, we looked over and Nathan was on the ground face down, uh, motionless. The lightning strike threw Nate approximately eight feet in the air and the blast singed his hair and clothes. We uh, ran over to Nate and we rolled him onto his back and he was not breathing and didn't have a pulse. So. I started giving him CPR. When the phone call came in, I thought Carson was joking. By the third time, and he told me the ambulance was there, I knew he was serious. I fell to my knees and I just started praying. He was critically ill when he came in. He wasn't breathing, he wasn't moving. I didn't know if he was alive. I didn't know if he was breathing. We didn't know the extent of his injuries. And when we found out, um, yeah, we were scared. You know, we just really relied on all those professionals that were gathered to take care of our son. Neither the Burks nor the Duluth community knew what to expect, but one thing was for certain. His friend Carson would remain right by his side through it all. It's hard to imagine one without the other. They feed off each other and get strength from each other, and, and it's, it's really great. Thankfully, he's made a full recovery. When I woke up, I thought I was checked in hockey, and I didn't really know where I was. I don't remember, at least. He was in the hospital for four days. He had a concussion and a broken clavicle, um, and yet you wanted him to be up and moving around. So he was very limited at first. It's an amazing thing to survive, let alone to come back and basically be 100%. As everyone knows, this is nothing short of a miracle. I mean, Nate, he's now getting straight A's and is apparently a really good hockey player. <laughs> After what Nate says felt like a long six months, he's getting stronger every day and is back on the ice with his buddies playing for the Piedmont Denfeld Hunters Pee Wee A team. To play the game is just really important to him. Nate's first practice back was definitely a big confidence booster for the team. Everybody was really excited to see him back on, in his skates. It's like really fun to just be out there and play. They were so thankful for him to be back. He was thankful to be back and I, it's, it's just an amazing group of boys. You know, it's great that he can be with his friends and continue on with his life down the path that it would have been on anyways. Undoubtedly, Nate is very thankful to the first responders, medical professionals, and all the community support he's received along the way. They have all helped him gain a second chance to play hockey once again. The doctors and the nurses that have helped us through this have been amazing. Lots of prayers, thoughts, and concerns sent our way. Overwhelming. To see him on the ice with his friends brought complete joy to my heart. We are best friends and we will always be best friends. If he wasn't part of this group still, this team, and playing at the level that he's playing at, we'd all be heart sick. <laughs>